three weeks ago, the other doctor changed Oromov to go on a Zomo 15 mg BD. We don't know how many Oromov the patient had, how many doses of Oromov. So now that's gone on the repeat. So the conversion here would be looking at from a um, Zomov to morphine sulfate subcutaneous, then the total dose will divide that by two. So for example, oh, yeah. if the patient is on 15 mg BD, so that's 30 mg over 24 hours. Yeah. On, um, so you divide that by two, then you get 15 mg for over 24 hours. Yeah. Okay. And for the breakthrough pain, I would probably go for 2.5 milligram um, subcutaneous. Okay. Okay. I did one six actually. Okay. All right. Okay. So like, this is where yeah. it's important that um, you have some experience, real life experience of um, doing it. And then in the priming, you want to already think about if you had to convert the dose, how you're going to convert it. Because when you're doing it in the consultation, it's clunky and it's not really smooth. Okay. okay. And you, you want to be at a point where you already know what exactly you're going to prescribe for each of the uh, symptoms for palliative so that it's not something that's coming um, after you're having to think it through. It should come very naturally because you've done it so many times. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, okay. one thing I would say here is that if the patient's having pain and is known to have cancer, you want to consider whether the patient might be constipated as well, because some yeah. of the medication here are, are known to cause constipation. That's something that you want to ask, might consider laxative as well. If you find this video useful, then I'm sure you're going to get a lot from watching this video. Click the video to watch it. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.